Hi, good morning. So welcome to our first discussion on mathematics in the modern world. So today I will be your instructor, Mom Irish. So this is um, our first discussion when it comes to this course, JED3. So for now, we will be um, having an introduction first and what is this course? What are the things that we will be needing to learn in this whole course duration or semester? So um, firstly, what is mathematics? So what really is mathematics? What comes to your mind when, it, when we say mathematics? So mathematics has been given different definitions and this are actually the most common on all those definitions that we have, okay? So I've written um, some of the definitions about mathematics. So firstly, mathematics is defined as the study of numbers and arithmetic operations. So of course, um, the very first thing that comes on our mind when we say mathematics are numbers, um, arithmetic operations such as subtraction, multiplication, addition, and um, division. So others also describe mathematics as a set of tools or a collection of skills that can be applied to questions of how many or how, how much. So most likely, um, mathematics actually answer these two questions, how much and how many. So when we say how many, of course, we are already dealing with numbers. So as how much. Also, others view it as a science which involves logical reasoning, drawing conclusions from assumed premises, and strategic reasoning based on accepted rules, laws, or probabilities. So right now, you're currently um, enrolled as a first-year student in um, Bachelor in Elementary Education. So of course, it is um, important that you already know what is mathematics, especially about logical reasoning, because most likely from this um, time or from this semester onwards, you will experience using mathematics as your tool in um, doing or drawing conclusions for your research studies. So mathematics is always associated with science for this one. And mathematics also is considered as an art, which studies patterns for predictive purposes or a specialized language, which deals with form, size, and quantity. So when we say art, these are actually um, the things that we see um, in our environment. And um, most likely mathematics also uses art. Why? Because there are patterns that mathematics also uses. Um, on the latter part of this um, course, we will be discussing um, patterns. We will show you um, examples and things that you will be you know, learning um, when this particular um, mathematics patterns. Also, people have viewed it as a set of problem solving tools, as a language, as a study of patterns, as an art, or as a process of thinking among others. So um, what do I say mathematics? It also deals with problem solving. So as we um, all know, from elementary days up until college, we already have experienced a lot of problem solving, right? Now, sometimes we think that, oh my God, how to answer this? And sometimes actually kids um, in elementary and even youngsters in their high school days, um, most likely is afraid of mathematics. Why? Well, this is because of this problem solving. So honestly, for, um, when I was a kid, um, I never had the, you know, the fear of mathematics. Why? Because I really love solving, especially problem solving. So in this um, topic, we will be discussing a couple of, I mean, discussing a couple of problems that need solving or solutions. And um, of course, I would really um, 
do my best to make it uh, as you know as enjoyable <laughs> as we could so at least you will not be afraid of mathematics so um, for our module one, the very first topic that we will be discussing um, will be the nature and art of mathematics. Um, there are a couple of lessons in module one that we will be discussing. So um, firstly, it's mathematics as a study of pattern. So um, just like what I've said earlier, um, since mathematics is also like an art which has patterns, so that will be our first discussion. We will be discussing um, what are patterns, what are the type of patterns in mathematics, and um, we will show you or I will show you some examples that you would actually learn from. Another um, topic or the lesson two will be mathematical language. So um, as we've mentioned earlier, mathematics is a language. So we will be dealing what is mathematical language? Um, how do we use it? Okay, so we will be dealing that one also. Next is the, the um, Fibonacci, Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio. So I'm not really sure if it's Fibonacci or um, how we actually read this one. I'll research that first. So um, this is our third lesson. We will be discussing also about that. And um, of course, the fractals. And then for our module two, or this will serve as our midterm topic, um, it will um, it will actually be about consumer mathematics. So um, what comes in your mind about consumer? So in module two, we will be, of course, dealing with a um, basic savings account, time deposit account, one time and several regular payments. So this is most likely like um, accounting, like um, uh, as the word says earlier from the topic that we have for uh, midterm is consumer. So we will be discussing um, most of these topics on the midterm. And then lastly, for our finals, we will be discussing uh, the module three, which is business statistics. So in this one, we will be discussing introduction and data collection, presenting data in tables and charts, charts um, numerical descriptive measures, sampling methods, fundamentals of hypothesis testing, like one sample test, and hypothesis thing, um, testing with two independent sample means. So most likely we will be dealing with business statistics, which will be um, one of the things that you need to actually acquire or knowledge that you need to acquire since um, this are the things that you will be needing when you have your research. So we will be um, dealing with statistics when it comes to doing research. All right, so that serves as our um, end of our introduction on what is mathematics in the modern world. So let's hope that you will enjoy this video and also we will in be enjoying this topic with me, Mom Irish, and see you soon.